young, young kids I can talk together with today, Riley, it's just going to be you and me, Riley? That's okay, right? Is my microphone on? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Pardon? Two more are coming. Let's, somebody's coming to join us. <clears throat> Jason, you're Jason. Okay, he doesn't want to. Why don't you go back with him? Okay, you stay with us. <clears throat> um, we don't want to force the poor guy to do something he doesn't want to do. Hi, what's your name? Come sit right here. It's okay. He's a, he's a guest. Let's be nice. Okay, so um, when you are driving around with your mom or your dad or your grandpa or grandma or your uncle or aunt and you look around, do you see anything different in the, in the trees and the plants? What looks different right now? Anybody notice? It's, it's happening. Something is happening in the trees and the, and the bushes. You haven't seen what's happening? What's happening, Riley? Yeah, and green leaves. A tree that was like, you could just see these bare branches all winter long, and suddenly you see just a little bit of green, like a, like a, like a whisper of green. And then it seems like you just look that afternoon, and it's more, of the, more than a whisper. And then the next day, it's a loud whisper of green. That's weird to call green a whisper, isn't it? But the trees are getting greener and greener every day. And that happens here at this time of year, every year. We call it spring. They're giving you the answers out there. It's spring. It's like, it's like the world seemed to be kind of sleeping, or maybe even the trees sort of looked dead, even though they're not. And now it looks like they are... Of flowers alive. <laughs> the trees are coming alive with green. I'm so excited about this. Is that weird that I'm excited about this? The, the trees are coming al alive with green. And at this time, we also celebrate the fact that Jesus, who loves us, who was with us in one of our families, and who decided to take on himself all of those things that make us sad, all of those things that hurt us inside, and the way we hurt other people, and the way we hurt God, Jesus took all that on himself, and he decided to let that actually kill him, make him die. But it didn't end there. Two days later, he rose up from the dead, and he was alive again. That's what Easter, that's what Easter's, pardon? On Easter Day, that's right, Karen. So that's what we're celebrating Jesus is alive, he rose from the dead, and he, he is victorious. He is no longer dead, he's alive. Isn't that wonderful? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, risen King, our King, the one who would do this astonishing, impossible thing to even imagine, dying for us, and then you, out of the grave, you rose victorious. You have victory over all that makes us sad, over that all that hurts us inside and outside. You are the victorious one. And one day when your kingdom comes on earth, even as it is in heaven, there will be no more mourning, no more crying, no more pain, no more injustice, no more death, because you have promised, Lord, and we believe you. You are the victorious one. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for talking to me. And look at those trees, okay, when you drive. When you drive from here, you better look at those green trees.